Hello YouTube, Freddy Cardona here. Here I am at the southern tippy tip of East 36th Street. You have the Gran Marqueta Food Fair on the right and Micro Seal Industries on the left. This is the most southern part of East 36th Street. And we're here completing a featuring every street video. Many of you know that I'm doing a project where the mission is to record every single street on my channel, every single Patterson Street that is. And I concluded East 35th Street in the previous Featuring Every Street video program. And we're starting on East 36th in this video. And this is the Southern Tippy Tip. In front of us there, we have the Oconite Company Patterson plant. And we have the CLI group, the CLI group. Here, and this is the corner of Market Street. All right, we're gonna pick this up on the other side of East 36th Street. All right, we're now on the northern tippy tip of East 36th Street for a couple blocks. We'll try to go slow so that you can see the houses on either side. And if you lived on East 36th Street, let us know in the comments below. As we come up to the intersection of 11th Avenue, we're gonna go across to show you this one section which dead ends right there, right there in front of us. So this is the 11th Ave and 36th Street intersection. We are going to be picking up East 36th on the other side. So there's no parking right here where this green fencing is. Can't park there. I'm going to check here where the other piece of East 36th Street. Let's see. So it looks like on the other side, you could probably catch it from Vreeland. No, you can, you can catch it from Park Avenue. There's no East 36th Street between here and Park Avenue. We have Wall Avenue and Durham, Durham Avenue. So we're going to take East 33rd to Vreeland. No, no, we're going to take East 33rd to Park Avenue. All right, let's go. Let's take 11th to East 33rd and then we'll make a left to, to Vreeland. I want to keep you with me just so you can see what it takes to make one featuring every street video. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna make this left on East 33rd Street. And we're gonna take this to Park Avenue. I've noticed that the, the East 35th Street, I did this, I did the same thing. I'm getting tongue twisted. And I left, I always keep the streets that I'm driving on at the bottom there in the center on the videos. But then I notice there's a lot of times when I'm not actually on the street. So I started thinking maybe I should just do it in the beginning and not leave it for the whole video, unless I'm on the actual street for the entire video. This way, if somebody who's not from Patterson looks at my video and they're watching the video, if they, let's say, join the video 
towards the middle somewhere where I'm not actually on the street, but I'm driving around to get to another section of that street. I don't want them to think they're actually on the street. That sounded more confusing. It sounded better in my head. We're here on Park Avenue and East 33rd. We're gonna make a left and I hope we can rejoin East 36th Street. I think we could. I think we could. We've got the quality smoke shop there on the right. Is that a PNC bank in front of us? And Huertas Laundromat was there on the right hand side. I might as well just show you some things that are in this area as we pick up Park Avenue here, crossing 34th. Crossing 35th. And we're picking up 36th. Okay. East 36th Street. All right, good. All right, we're back. We're back on East 36th Street. A nice tree lined residential block or blocks. Come to the intersection of 17th Avenue. Up ahead, we do have a one way street. So let's check which is the best way to get. To that block there. So if I make a right, get back on Vreeland, I can come around. Let's try that. I'm gonna go back on Vreeland to pick up that other piece of East 36th Street. Someone commented, thank you so much on putting together the pieces, the puzzle pieces of these roads. And I really appreciated that. That was that, those that, those were kind words. As we're here on Vreeland Avenue, this section here also known as Jamaica Way, and stopped on 18th Avenue. I'm trying to keep you guys with me. I don't want to cut the video out too much. Let's see if I go this way. Make a left and then pick up East 36th Street. I hope we're gonna find out. Oh, there was a dip in the road. Okay, let's make that left here. It's the red light for me. So this is the other piece of East 36th Street on the left-hand side. I can't tell. Nope, still green for the other side. Okay, we're back on East 36th Street going the other way. All right, perfect. We've got this one. To the other side we're gonna cross we're gonna go across 37th east 37th first because that other side of east 36th is actually a two-way why did i enunciate the th so strongly i said uh, pick up the other side of east 36th
Enunciation is very important. In other words, in normal conversation, we would say, oh, that's important. You don't hear the T. But if, if you're, let's say, in a studio and you're on a set and you're enunciating your lines, you wouldn't say that's important. You have to say that's important. You have to actually pronounce the T at the end. That's important. Or instead of saying that's it, you would say that's it. So you pronounce. All right, let's not forget that we're doing a East 36th Street video, not a acting class tutorial. Okay, we, we're picking up East 36th Street right here off of 19th Avenue. We got public school number 20 there on the left. Let me show that to you. Public school number 20. And we're gonna go up this dead end here. This is another piece that ends right here. This might be the last of the East 36th Street sections. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out here in a moment. Again, I'm not too familiar with every single section. As this company here is Professional Stone and Stucco. Stucco, 518 East 36th Street. So what I'm going to do is make a U-turn here. It's not illegal because it's a dead end. You have to make a three-point turn, U-turn. And I'm going to check Google here in a moment to see if there's any other sections that I haven't missed or that I have missed. I've done that before, don't want to do it again. All right, let me just pull over here in the corner so I can be out of traffic. Let me just pull in here. And I'm going to check to see if there is any other sections of East 36th Street. Let me just put this in park. Hope you don't mind, you're hanging out with me here for a moment. No, I think that's it. On the other side, between this one and the other section we did in the beginning. We've got 21st Avenue, Market Street, and then of course the Food Fair, La Gran Marqueta. So yeah, that's it guys, East 36th Street, East 36th Street. And let's see where we are right now. We're on the corner of 20th Ave and East 36th Street. And this is where we will complete the video. I want to thank everyone for joining me on these Pride and Patterson Pride in Patterson YouTube playlist. You guys know that my channel encompasses not just the Pride in Patterson videos, but we do have driving videos and that playlist is called Fred Drives. So my Pride in Patterson playlist features Patterson based locations. My Fred Drives playlist features the surrounding areas around Patterson and expands my presence in the northern in the northern New Jersey area. And that's for folks who are subscribers who have lived in other areas, right? It's nice, it's fair to show other cities as well. And I have the driving and the news video. So that playlist, the driving and the news playlist, is not necessarily for entertainment 
or inter wait, entertainment and it's not necessarily an exciting playlist. But the reason I have that there is because I want to record history. I started last September, September 7th, I believe it was. So we're going on almost a year of uploading daily news, daily videos of the news, primarily Monday through Friday as I drive to work. On the weekends, I don't normally upload a driving in the news. You know, looking back, I would have wished I'd have thought of the idea earlier, sooner, a few years before. And we probably would have had the entire pandemic documented from beginning to end if I was doing these videos starting, let's say, January 1, 2020 and going through up until present time. So in March, obviously, if, for those of you that remember, in March of 2020, the pandemic hit and I could have I could have documented all of those daily new all of those daily broadcasts from 1010 wins i think that would have been a great historical piece but anyway i digress this is the pride and patterson playlist not the driving in the news playlist i want to thank you guys once again for viewing subscribing please remember to like the videos that helps the search algorithms for other folks to find them. Please share these with your friends and family who were also raised in Patterson or who currently live in Patterson or work in Patterson. Share these videos. Let them know this play, this video, this channel exists. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next Pride in Patterson video.